So, our new hostel is at the top of a huge mountain now. We have an amazing view. I'm out of breath. I blame it on the elevation and been out of shape. Thanks, Beer. But, are you ready to see our new hostel? Oh, it just started raining too. Perfect timing. A little hammock, sit out chairs. We got the lobby area, front desk, cook a tea. After checking into our hostel, we went up a couple more flights of stairs, and man, we are in a great neighborhood. This place is called Mr. Soup. We did some research, or I did some research, obviously with food, and found that this is supposed to be the best soup place in all of Cusco. So this is, this is the udon that Paul and I are sharing. They split it into two bowls for us so nicely. Yay, udon! Udon! Udon in Peru? Udon Peru? <laughs> this is the Tom Ka Gai, the Thai soup. Sorry if I didn't say it correctly, Jennifer. <laughs> this was 22 soles, and this was 20 soles split between us. Good morning. It is like 8.30 a.m. And Matt and I woke up to the owner of the hostel going shopping in the, the local market because it's Saturday morning. And he invited us to go with him. So I get to go check out a new market. A bunch of cheap clothes there, cheap food. I'm excited to check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flea market, early in the morning. So this is like a deep fried chili with stuffed meat. It's like a, a relleno meat stuffed. And it comes with like a bunch of little local potatoes. So we're with the hostel owner and we're watching him do his morning groceries. He's bartering that right now for cheese. We already got coffee and sugar. Those are huge avocados. And then one sole pineapples. This is the craziness of a Saturday local market in Cusco. Everything and anything you can think of that you need is here in abundance. the sandblast market again and I got the tofu con boot de crino and then the falafel papas and ensalada. There's tomatoes and quinoa and sauce and shredded carrots and avocado. We also got a pineapple and banana smoothie to go along with this. This is our sixth solo dish of falafel, coleslaw and potatoes. Good lunch. Very good. It's like a Sunday city fair or some Sunday celebration. We got little games and we just saw the crowd so we went. It's like gambling. This is like a pop up casino. This is roulette. It's held up by cans. With coals underneath. It's anti cucho and chicken. We've just been living in Cusco since I think it's been like nine days now. I've been spending my days going to vegan and vegetarian restaurants because my boyfriend's out hiking, doing uh, doing yoga, and just really relaxing a lot. It's been great. So on days when it's raining out, we hide out in a coffee shop and catch up on our video editing and hang out. And my favorite thing to do, or well, one of my favorite things to do while traveling is trying all the different coffee everywhere. Oh God, I was thinking people do that. <laughs> Quinoa on the stove top, doing a nice sim. And then Matt is cooking up, or cutting up some garlic, and he bought some pre-cut vegetables, which were like one solo each. We have tomatoes, and this is the kitchen. Most hostel kitchens, you'll realize in Peru, 
aren't the most sanitary, <laughs> but you use what you get. What do you think, Bella? I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty tasty. So the whole meal that we bought is probably what we spend, 12 soles, 11 soles? Mm -hmm. Between three people? So it's definitely a, a cheaper way to eat. It's been two and a half weeks that we've lived in Cusco, and we've loved every day of it. Almost the whole time we stayed in a hostel called Hukachil Hostel, which I'll have the link for it from booking.com down below. Now we're taking a bus tonight to Puno, which was 40 soles. It's like seven hours to get there. And from there we'll go to Copacabana to cross the border into Bolivia. And because we're US citizens, it's 160 US dollars for a visa, which is very, very expensive. But Bolivia is the cheapest country in South America, so it'll balance out. We're gonna try and spend around $1,000 for the month there. Yeah, life's been good here. I can't believe we're actually leaving. We did Rainbow Mountain, we did Machu Picchu, we did the Sacred Valley tour, we did it all. So, it's a good city. Completely recommend you coming here one day.